I, it's day 12 and I'm still working on <laughs> getting my life together, of course. So today I did PT this morning. I know I always mention it like, oh, I did PT, but I did PT and it's not easy. You know, it's pretty hard actually. The exercises are so simple, but yet they are challenging for me. And, but I got it done and I was glad I planked today for one minute and 16 seconds. It's weird. I can get, it's, it's like my core. I mean, I'm, I'm happy, of course, that my core is still strong, but it's weird that my core is still strong considering everything else that's going on, you know, with my legs and I mean, just everything else that's going on with my body. It's weird that my core is hanging in there. So I'm glad about that. And... I did go to get my nails done today. Let's see if I can show you. Go dogs, Georgia nails. Yes, Georgia plays Clemson on Saturday. And I have to make sure I'm ready for the game. I will be ready for the game, you know. Gotta get my hurricane so I can, I have a regular cane, but a hurricane is supposed to be better, all terrain, whatever. So I should be able to walk faster, walk longer. Well, maybe not faster, but just longer, longer periods of time. And I didn't want to talk about my family or anybody. I just felt like this whole time was going to be about me. But I did want to take this time to talk about how supportive my family. My family is really supportive. And I mentioned that before. My husband is really supportive. And we have been through some really <laughs> difficult times. And I mean... Before last year, our marriage was over. You know, it was over, over, like over, for real, over. So just completely done. And we, you know, I moved back to Charlotte after the pandemic. I actually came up here for the weekend and then ended up having to stay. But, you know, I mean, I don't know. And things just restarted you know and it's not it's weird because we never stopped loving each other and so I don't know I'm not really gonna talking about these things it's so weird but it just we're back together so I mean and it's been you know it's always gonna be challenging being in a relationship is so challenging and I think for me Growing up, I always felt like with relationships, if they were challenging, then that means you shouldn't be with that person. You know, I'm thinking, well, if it's hard, if it's difficult, then you shouldn't do it. Right. Because if something's too hard, then why? Why am I doing this? Why am I putting myself through this? But I guess I mean, not I guess, but regardless of who you're with, relationships are going to be difficult, which is what I've learned. I mean, I've learned so much about relationships just from being in this one and so much that I didn't know, so much I thought I knew. Really what I thought I knew was if it was difficult, then it wasn't meant to be or that was pretty much it, you know, or if things happen, there's no way to fix things, you know, I don't know. There's so much like that I didn't know about relationships and but it's better now. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just not good at details or I'm not, I'm just not, I don't give details, I guess. I don't know. I guess my point is that he's supportive and things are good now, you know? And when we argue, it's just like, okay, arguments aren't bad. I mean, of course I know arguments aren't bad. People argue, but for me, when I get upset or if I'm to the point where I'm arguing with someone, I probably just, you know, that's outside of my family. I don't want to be bothered with them anymore, you know. I'm kind of like one and done. So I think that's the mentality that I brought into a relationship, which isn't great. I mean, of course, I didn't continue that. I don't know. Anyway, I don't know how to talk about relationships. I don't know how to talk about them at all. When people are getting engaged, I'm like, oh, that's terrible. Not it's terrible, but, you know, just being funny. You know, I like to watch a lot of these. I love Say Yes to the Dress. And every single person says they're marrying their best friend. Maybe they are, but I would like to see some follow-up. Just to see, you know, 
I don't know, not in, not to be cynical, but just I'm always just curious about how those things play out, you know? Because, I mean, when we got married, my dress was probably $150, $200 maybe. Our rings were $100 total for both of them. And it was at my mom's house. I was eight months pregnant, eight months pregnant, so... But yeah, I mean, you just never know how these things turn out. And I guess they're not easy. And you see people married for like 50 years. Just like, oh, that is so great. You know, what's your secret? People always want to know a secret for long term. I think for everybody, it's probably different. You know, what can you not not what can you deal with? Or I guess, yeah, what can you deal with? What is your thing? You know, everybody's got to got that one thing that if it happens, it's completely over. And I definitely have a one thing here couple things so I don't know but I always liked Kevin Bacon and Kira Sedgwick I don't know I read this a long time ago and their secret was you know fight clean <laughs> like when you do get into arguments to fight clean I guess because you don't want to say stuff that you know you can't take back once it's heard it's gonna always be remembered even when people say they forgive you I mean that stuff is still there but I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Relationships are not. It's not my thing. I'm not trying to give advice. I have zero advice to give. <laughs> I still think that when people talk about getting married, they need to be cautiously moving into that, moving in that direction because, you know, you need to know what you're getting into, like, for real, for real. I mean, when he married me, he didn't know I was going to be diagnosed with MS, you know? So sickness and health is a serious thing, right? It's like, for real, for real. Mm. All that stuff that you say when you get married or when people write their own vows it's like you should definitely add that sickness and health thing in there because you never know somebody might get sick like me or cancer or you know people get sick things happen I mean you just never know so you gotta think about that too when you're like hey I want to be with this person forever as long as they're healthy or regardless no matter what you know so and I know right now, I'm definitely, and not just right now, but I mean, the past 10 months have been challenging dealing with MS and it's just gotten worse. So hopefully this is the end of that. And, you know, I just think about him and just, I don't know. He's like, well, this is what you sign up for when you're with somebody. He's like, I guess. I mean, I would do the same thing. I would be supportive and loving and caring and, you know, do all that stuff. And it's not like he's perfect and does nothing wrong, or, you know, but I mean, I'm not perfect. I'm almost perfect. You know, the MS really makes it so I'm not perfect. If it wasn't for that, I'd be perfect. But <laughs> I don't know. Again, I'm just saying that it's just nice to have somebody supportive. And that's all I will say about that. I probably won't ever talk about him again because it's not about him. It's about me. It's not about anybody else. Just about me. And today I had a better day. I did some PT. I did. I got my nails done, which was the best thing. I mean, it's just so nice to get my nails done. It just makes me so happy. And Lauren is such an amazing... She's so amazing. I mean, she just... These Georgia nails, I mean, you know, yes, 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 the Georgia nails. You see that G? You see that football? You see that football? I mean, she just draws stuff. I mean, she just gets the whole thing. She just draws it. And they look amazing. Even if Georgia loses on Saturday, which I don't have any high hopes, but I don't care, you know? It's just like, that's my team regardless, so it's just what I do. But it was a pretty good day, you know? Did some grocery shopping online of course but other than that I think it was a better day mentally I just realized that I can't just eat what I can eat and right now if it's cinnamon raisin toast and grapes it's, and tea then that's what it is until we figure this out you know I hate getting so upset about stuff like that because I do feel like oh man that's not a big deal other people's lives are so much harder you know so it's just like why am I up here getting so upset about this stuff you know people have harder lives than I do I mean besides MS I guess I have a pretty good life for the most you know and I'm grateful for my family and it does just make things challenging but then once I think about it 
you know, if it wasn't for MS, a lot of the things that I've been able to do over the years, I wouldn't have been able to do. Our son needed to be homeschooled, and I just happened to not be working at the time, so it was perfect. You know, I mean, otherwise, I would have, we don't know what we would have done. So, I mean, there have been other opportunities over the years, and getting into health and fitness was because of MS, you know. So, I think it has brought me a lot of opportunities as well, and I don't want to forget about that. I met some great people, you know. I've worked in so many different jobs. <laughs> I have not used my college degree. Thank you, MS. But, <laughs> but you know, it's just there have been opportunities and good things to come out of it, too. So, And last night, we went to go see a movie. We went to see Old. And I am noticing people with MS are getting into more movies and TV shows. So there was a lady with MS in the movie. She was the first one to die. So, yeah. I mean, we made it, though, on the big screen. <laughs> it's not a part of the story if you're going to see it. I mean, you don't know who she is or anything. Just the body. Just happened to have MS. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. But I just it has given me opportunities as well as, you know, stress. But today, I feel grateful for the opportunities. And then hopefully tomorrow, I will still remember the opportunities. I always remember that stuff. I just sometimes have, you know, hard days. Today was not one of those days. So it's just like I have a difficult time and talk myself through it and figure it out and then bounce back. And here I am. And then tomorrow, hopefully, will be the same. You know, we just take one day at a time. I mean, I guess that's one of those sayings that's actually true for every single thing, unfortunately. You know, I'm in a hurry, but this is, I'm trying to be patient and take the time I need to take with my body, with my mind, with everything. I did try some yoga today. Not try. I did a little bit of yoga today. I realized that I cannot do a lot of it. My body is not quite there, but that's okay. I'll get there. I did start it though, so, yep. Just moving along through these 365 days. We'll see where I'm at the end, so, all right, until tomorrow.